Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Fabio Palvelli. A few days ago, Chaos Group, the makers of B-Ray and the owners of Corona, they have made an announcement about this new tool called Vantage. Now, what is Vantage? In a nutshell, this is a real-time ray-traced render engine that allows you to see your V-Ray scenes and navigate them like if you were using sort of a game engine. This used to be called Project Lavina and apparently it has reached its final form. It's, it's going to market. Chaos is giving away a one-year license as long as you sign up before the 2nd of June 2021. This is not a sponsored video, I'm just sharing this because it's good when you're a poor 3D artist and can finally get something for free. I will leave a link in the description for you to go and check it out. There is also a design competition called Building Utopia, which has been initiated by my good friend Jeff Mottel of CG Architect. It might be a good reason for you to test this tool and see how it works, how it is. Now, this software runs on RTX and video cards. They recommend that you use a 2080. I have a 2070, I might give it a shot anyway and see what happens. So what are the features of this new tool? Apparently there is zero setup time, you just need to drag and drop a scene inside of Vantage. Unreal users will love this. No more light baking, no more wrapping and wrapping. Talking of wrapping, I still haven't got any Christmas present done. Thank God my wife doesn't watch these videos. <laughs> Another thing is that Vantage can handle billions and billions and billions and trillions and a lot of polygons. So you can now visualize entire cities. It is easy to navigate. It is basically like walking like in a video game. It has got collision recognitions so you can go up and down the stairs if you like, you can go right, you can go left, you can go, you can go anywhere you can imagine. From the demo, another thing that I've seen is that it's super fast at uh, exporting animations. So to recap, it's fast, it looks good, and it also has a live link so that if you are a 3ds Max user, you can actually see the changes that you make in your 3ds Max file real time. I wonder if something like this will come to Cinema 4D or Blender now that I'm a Blender user. Uh, in case I did not mention it, I am a Blender user and I'm proud to be a Blender user. Go watch my Blender tutorials, they're one minute long and they will show you how to master Blender like a ninja. So is this the real-time revolution that visual designers were waiting for? Will Vantage kill the giant that is Unreal Engine? How am I supposed to know that? My guess is download the software, it is free for one year and start using it. Play around with it, see what are the new possibilities. Another question that you might have is, will this kill the work of a visualizer? And to that, I can only say that I think we keep asking the same wrong question. I think that if you fear that a software like this can take your job, this is probably because what you do is limited to workflow and execution. You might be a designer, but your work is more of a technician work. Nothing wrong with that. There are a lot of people that I know that are doing that and they're doing okay, they're doing just fine. But workflow and execution are two things that with the time, they can always be optimized. And as technology advances more and more, the more difficult it becomes for a person to keep up as a professional. On the other end, things like creativity, problem solving, taste, proper communication, empathy, these are still very much things that humans can do better than any current hardware or software. So to me the question would be, how do you as a designer or as an artist take a tool like Vantage and use it in a way that others want? How will you innovate as a designer using a software like Vantage? How will you make Vantage your next secret weapon? I'm curious to hear your opinion. Leave a comment and let me know. I guess that's it for today. Thanks a lot for watching. My name is Fabio Pavelli. Once again, see you guys next time.